The SNP's own economic advisor has poured cold water on the prospect of the party adopting their own currency in an independent Scotland, Andrew Wilson, who served as chairman of the SNP Growth Commission, warned adopting a separate Scottish currency could severely hit Scots' incomes and pensions because it would swiftly devalue after its introduction. At last year's SNP conference, the SNP voted to replace the pound with a separate Scottish currency as soon as practicable. Scottish Finance Secretary Kate Forbes also made clear during a media briefing this week any change would depend on Scotland's economic situation. Speaking to Scotland's Choice podcast, economist Mr Wilson, who advises Scottish First Minister Nicola Sturgeon, added, we want to manage for both the economic and political uncertainty that would come if we were going to move too quickly on currency. The risk would be that the currency would come into being and then quickly devalue, which would be most people in the market's expectation, that would have an effect on people's income if they were waged in sterling, it would affect people's pensions and mortgages, it could be upside, it could be downside, the key thing is it would be uncertain and the thing we want to manage for is the risk of money leaving the country, capital flight which for a new nation is a major risk. Ian Murray, Shadow Scottish Secretary said the comments made clear independence would be uncertain for Scots. The Scottish Labour MP added the comments, start to articulate the catastrophe of the SNP's plans but barely scratch the surface on the reality that would be faced by all Scots. He added, it is little wonder they can't decide what to do about currency when every option is as damaging as the last, the SNP need to be honest with the public about what their currency plan is and what it really means for our economy. Pamela Nash, chief executive of pro-union campaign group Scotland in Union, said, being part of the UK and using the pound has provided us with insurance during the Covid crisis, supporting jobs, businesses and public services. A separate Scotland couldn't borrow at the same low interest rates, storing up huge financial problems down the line, on top of measures required to get the deficit under control.